Hi, I'm Bob the Mortgage Coach Mitchell and today we are talking about glossary terms again. We're finishing up the T's with the last T which is Truth and Lending Act, a federal law requiring disclosure of credit terms using a standard format. It's intended to facilitate comparisons between lenders and, um, and other types of financial institutions like you know mortgage bankers and car lenders and that sort of thing. Um, the big thing is they want you to know how much the loan's going to cost you. So the lender has to disclose to you any fees or charges that you're going to incur. And they, they need to give it to you in the form of what they call an APR, an annual percentage rate, which we talked about at the very beginning of the glossary. Okay, annual percentage rate, the APR is an imaginary number. It's the interest rate with any fees or points factored in over a 12-month period. It's always going to be higher than the interest rate that you're paying. Um, so it's kind of an imaginary number, but it give, does give you a, a, the ability to compare one lender to the other with a specific, you know, number. You look at it and say, if the APR in this lender is 6.74 and the lender the APR from this lender is 7.2, then you know that this one's a little bit cheaper. So anyway, it's it's kind of a rough number, but that's what that's what the Truth and Lending Act is meant to, and that's what it's supposed to do. So if you have any questions about the Truth and Lending Act or about interest rates or APRs or anything along those lines, please feel free to reach out to me. I am Bob the Mortgage Coach Mitchell, and I'm here to put you into a house, so let's do it.